concept wise, we wanted to do something that was a bit like a horror movie. And uh, we called Ross back. Ross did the video for Lilith Immaculate. So um, we got together in London, uh, had a few beers, came up with some ideas, so went backward and forward. Action! Originally, the video was a, a little bit too overly complicated, um, so it had to be stripped down. But it was good that we started with making it very busy because obviously, time is of the essence, uh, and they're not finishing tonight till like four o'clock in the morning. I spoke to Dan and he wanted a concept video that's kind of different from their typical performance videos. I mean, that's that's how it came came to be. Um, I've been mad into Walking Dead recently. <laughs> so a lot of the inspiration has come to that and I watched all the, the Romero films. I've always been into all that stuff. So it's it's been a dream of mine to shoot on 35mm and to shoot a zombie film. And here we are, what a great opportunity, right? No, there was no plan. The lyrics actually about something completely different. <laughs> The fact of the matter was that um, the reason we chose this song was because it had the right pacing for the idea behind the video. And then we kind of just got rid of the trying to represent the lyrics, you know, we sort of done away with all that and just, just went for something that was, you know, a story in its own right. album in, in itself is a, a, a little bit more expressive in, in respect to the fact that the lyrics quite a bit more personal this time um, believe it or not there's a lot of stuff about personal demons and overcoming um, black emotions and things like that. it's quite a positive record for once it's uh, it's a good way of getting those demons out actually it's a bit like an exorcism you could say that we definitely know what's needed for the band, you know. Um, yeah, of course, as any band, we argue, we argue like fuck sometimes, we really do, or a lot of the time. But that's only for the greater cause, you know. And if it didn't work, or it hadn't have worked, we wouldn't be here doing it now. It's been amazing. Um, uh, I think I've done a lot of hard work during all these years. So uh, I've recorded uh, three albums and one DVD with them already and uh, I actually written and uh, recorded keyboards on uh, the new Matico album as well so uh, it's been hard work but uh, amazing so far I'm kind of like the, the major songwriter now you know and pretty much pretty much everything that I come up with and he'll bounce ideas off and I'll bounce ideas off of him for like lyrics and stuff as well mm. and well, not so much lyrics but like vocal placement you know, which which I would personally think would fit better with the music etc. and he'll do the same with me. So we, we bounce a lot of ideas off. A backstory for the video is um, it's a bit like a, a modern day Red Riding Hood. Um, so Red Riding Hood turns out to be this um, sort of Jill Valentine type figure who's a bit like, uh, well, she, she appears very innocent at first. It's been, you know, she's shooting at things. Uh, she reveals herself to, to be a bit like a, a monster hunter. She's got steaks, cloves of garlic um, and guns. And then you have the three of us, we're having this weird game of chess. Um, three side a bit of chess and we're moving the pawns about and as the pawns get moved around, zombies appear and attack her, she shoots all of those. Set a few people on fire, which is uh, always a good thing. Well, I love that, I love to set people on fire.
I won't give it too much away, but um, there's a bit of a twist to it as well. Well, with the special effects team that we've sourced, uh, we've actually had a range of stuff we could do. Um, done some great stuff that I've always wanted to do ever since I was a kid, you know. Set a guy on, a guy on fire, which is really cool. Uh, we shot Danny, we had a girl getting sucked into a grave and had her guts getting blown out and we're about to go shoot the other sequence now with uh, some zombies getting blown up and uh, shot. Can't go wrong really. That's cool. Just another day in the office. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one! You ready Andy? Yeah. Action Andy. Well we did our own horror film called Cradle of Fear. Um, which I played myself in. <laughs> I like playing myself. Which character from a horror film would you like to play? I think it was going to be anything, it would be a vampire movie and it had to be Dracula, but um, I'd have to grow a bit, a bit short for a stormtrooper. Um, yeah, for, for definite. Or, or one of these, um, you know, like uh, Japanese monster movies. So just got to, you know, run around in a big stupid um, suit trample loads of little cardboard cities, that'd be great. We kind of replay what we enjoy, but, they, but because of Cradle, you can't obviously throw in like fucking jazz chord progressions or anything like that, do you know what I mean? You have to st you stick to some kind of formula, you know, you can't go too far out of the box. But I think what we do, like especially in the songwriting that I do, we, we, we tend to push it a little bit outside the box, you know, just to keep it interesting. So it's just to keep it like, because if, if we're to stay, stick to the same thing all the time, every album, we wouldn't be here now and people would be so bored, it would be ridiculous, but well, we'd be freaking bored. This is the second day of the shoot for um, the Cradle of Filth video for your vulgar delectation. This day in particular is really sort of just getting a lot of um, visuals of me and the girl um, who's like the zombie killer slayer from the first from the first day, and um, she's really been through hell today. To be fair, I actually do a lot of music videos, and um, yeah, but this one is the the, the, the most fun. <laughs> Yes, as the first time that I've been zombified, like completely, you can't really recognize me. Yes, see here I have like a gory kind of scratches and bruises and can't even speak properly. It's different thing. She had one eye closed for about four hours because she's got like a prosthetic missing eye. Um, I felt a bit guilty that I should give her one of my spare ones. The, the other part that we shot, we shot in the woods and it was November, it was really cold. And now this time we're at the studio, we're very comfortable and even though I have this yeah, gory makeup and lots of latex on me, um, yeah, I still find it much easier than running in the woods and shooting guns. <laughs> Drawings, photography of someone like Joel Peter Whitkind um, has worked a lot with bones and dead animals and, and stuff like that. I think that was the sort of premise behind the way this has all been built and lit. Good old Lilith Immaculate was shot here as well. And that interview with me and the... Uh, oh yeah, and uh, the brilliant documentary, what was it called? Uh, you can't polish a turd but you can you roll, roll it with litter. litter. <laughs> yeah, uh, where, yeah, check it out, we went to Russia and didn't really do too much, but it was good. But well, I did, you just hung around like that smell. <laughs> yeah, so we got a little Rottweiler in. That was quite good fun. Oh yeah, completely forgot about that. That was, that yeah. was very odd. That was like a last minute thing, you know? Said, oh, I'll tell you what, we've got a stunt Rottweiler. It is essentially a really good horror. Though. It's going to be a great little, like, mini horror movie. Uh, we've had a lot of fun doing it, haven't we? It's not been bad, has it's it? It's been brilliant. Um, it's been really good. Yeah, I think we're going to really like it. I think everybody likes, I was talking to the makeup lady, I mean she, you know, she loves doing this sort of thing, it's just, you know, it's a way to be really creative, isn't it? Like exactly, making, exactly. I mean, especially the makeup for something like this, we really liaised for quite a while, and uh, came up with some good concepts and they kind of materialised, so I was really chuffed that we could create something like this in such a short period of time with the constraints that we had. I've always been majorly influenced by George Romero's work and uh, all of the dot 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 dead films, 
I've always been a major, uh, ma massive, massive influence. So it's it's been cool to sort of show a small part of, of that creative streak. And it's just been a massive laugh doing it, to be honest. And you know, when else do you get an opportunity to hang out and blow some cash on some stuff you actually enjoy doing? Yeah, the set looked amazing. I mean, obviously you've got some shots of all that. And uh, hopefully you guys might like it. <laughs>